Good evening, good morning, bigots, depending on your time zone. We got to talk about some poetic justice today. We get, I think it's worthy of one of these. <laughs> on the 109 day of this genocide against Gaza, 21 of God's chosen lunatics perished in the most epic way possible. Poetic justice. Let's set the scene. These lunatics who think God's a real estate agent and gave them territory and thinks October 7th happened out of the blue for no reason. It's, it's like people getting mad at a slave revolt. Why are they attacking us? Gee, <laughs> don't know. Elon Musk gets his little Auschwitz tour with Benicide Shapiro. Like, oh, you're looking at 80 years in the past. Why don't you look out your window? What's going on right now by the Israelis on Gaza? You ignored it. You ignored the starvation in Yemen and Iraq too. You didn't. You didn't care. Well, you know, let's look at the. Let's look at what happened in Poland with uh, with the movie screen and the evil music. I, I thought they'd do fog machines, but maybe gas of any kind is not happening there. <clears throat> Just like before. Um, he does his little tour, and he said the dumbest shit I've ever heard. Oh, we really have to stop uh, these, these young, like, toddlers in Gaza from getting brainwashed into hating Israelis. Look at these books, whatever, that, they, that the Israelis gave me in English. Buddy, they don't have to be brainwashed to hate the Israelis. They hate the Israelis because the Israelis killed their parents. The Israelis blew up their homes. The Israelis blew up their schools. They've blown up their hospitals, their mosques, their churches, and anything else they feel like. And that's exactly what led to yesterday's event. God's chosen lunatics decided to take a team of terrorists to go demolish a row of civilian houses, which is a war crime. They died doing what they love, committing a war crime. Yeah, well, let's just set up some controlled demolition, because they're good at that, and take out a whole row of houses. Houses, mind you, private property of civilians. This is not a military base or anything. This is pure ethnic cleansing. And they thought, well, we'll go rig up these homes and we'll blow it up like they've been doing. They get their little celebratory videos and stuff. By the way, I had some shekel chats come in. P1 Dizzy, it's a girl. Congratulations on the new tower. Uh, it's a girl, something I've never heard. I have all boys and the tower is, uh, I don't know. I'm probably going to give it a male name, though. Kegel Myron. Legal Myron, whatever, for five, says, Dead Lincoln for you, Ryan. Have you seen the documentary Europa, The Last Battle? I saw Jake Shields mention it on Twitter. Seems interesting, although, or excuse me, also the ADL hates it. So always a good sign. Usually whatever the ADL hates, uh, it must be a good thing. I have seen it. It is, uh, <laughs> it's about 60% accurate, 40% crap. It's a very long documentary and one day i'll sit through and i don't know go through it it's necessary though for stuff like that for things on the other side to be said um but what happens often is people overcorrect. they hear the mainstream prop mainstream propaganda and then they go full tilt the other direction a good example is like died suddenly absolutely the government narrative on covid is shit but uh, this stuff that came out, like denying viruses exist and stuff, is also shit. And that's what happened with things like the Holocaust. You end up with the deniers versus the alarmists. And both are wrong. Uh, but we're only given the alarmist version. You hear the same thing about climate change. It, the Earth is... <laughs> remember, about eight years ago, they said in 10 years, there won't be any polar ice caps. Okay, that's not true. Um but just because there are a bunch of alarmists and any chicken little running around saying the sky is falling doesn't mean we're not doing any environmental damage. And that's sort of, <laughs> I, 
I legally have to say the Spielberg version of events of that thing in World War II of exactly six million by however they say it happened. But I'm just saying, if you've ever seen the nature documentaries that are out there about squirrels, the squirrels saw it all. They have the nuanced view. There's a lot of things on about World War II uh, on both sides that are absolute crap. And that's really every war. World War I, also the Civil War especially. Um, much of what you've heard in school is a particular version. However, at least it's not illegal to question the motives of the Civil War yet. It is uh, illegal to question some of the events pertaining to World War II. And you're not allowed to mention the German death camps, for example, where Germans were put to death in camps after the war, um, or the mass rapes in Japan and so on. And that doesn't excuse what those two countries did uh, in Europe and Asia, but that's nuance is dead. It's if you point out allied crimes, suddenly you love Hitler and you wanted it to happen. And that's just bullshit, frankly. You know, like you can condemn all sides. There's government. You had fascists, you had republics, you had communists, and all of them killed tens of millions of people. It wasn't the type of government that was the problem. Government is the problem. Scarecrow 10 couldn't find a couple items in the shop. Are they sold out? Calendar, end all aid to hoodie, Korea letter hat. I don't have the Korea hat. I I will make it though. Calendar is on the website and you got to get those in the next like seven days. ANCreport.com. There's a picture of the calendar on the left hand side if you're on a desktop. On a phone, our, our site kind of sucks on a phone. You just got to scroll around. Somebody's probably going to put a link to the calendar in chat. P. Uh, and you can click that. Get a few because they're very easy to sell. No one gets a calendar to know what day it is because you, you have a calendar on your phone. You have, you're getting a calendar to know what happened on certain days. In fact, if I may, I'll go grab the old one real quick for our last year. Let's uh, here have some lot of Green Martin. Green Martin. Proud producer and proprietor. Patriotic projectile party poppers. Got some up in the brown people making trouble for your empire. Replace them with a charred freighter and a cloud of white smoke. So remember, if your next geostrategic boondoggle's going to ride, don't call us. We'll call you. So for example, you see the quote there by JFK. Physical fitness is not only of the most important... I have to read it this way. Physical fitness is not only one of the most important keys to a healthy body. It is the basis of a dynamic, dynamic and creative intellectual activity, JFK. And so, and then you can see here what happened on certain days. These rainbow frogs are all great events. So, for example, the 1st of December is when David Ben-Gurion died. So, have a Coke. <laughs> Gold on my ear dies on the 8th. So... Maybe have some bacon or something to celebrate that. She's the one that said we can never forgive the Palestinians or the Arabs for forcing us to kill their children. It's amazing projection. Your accusations are confessions. Uh, Peter Nygaard got arrested on the 15th. He was a serial rapist out of the Bahamas, tied to the rings with Prince Andrew as well. You know, scrolling down. 28th, we had is when Richard Pearl lied about the meeting in Prague. We're in January now, so as of last year, we can just fast forward around here. John Hancock's birthday, have two bottles of rum. And of course, tomorrow, well, Korea time, tomorrow's the 25th, is the month anniversary of John McCain's Still Dead Day. So you can get these kind of lovelies. Here's a kind of stuff. What a beautiful face. And in above, you know, whatever. This, well, Next year's, you know, this year's is in the shop, ancreport.com. And that's, you have to get the calendar there. It's different than, uh, we couldn't put it on the other thing. Korean letter hat, I will get. A um, couple items. End all aid to Israel is, I think we have boycott Israel hoodie. End all aid to Israel was on one of the shops that got ovened. So that sucks. We're constantly being thrown off of stuff for being truthful. All right, let me get back to uh, what I was saying. 
So God's chosen lunatics take it upon themselves to blow up civilian homes, which is a war crime. On and on again, and they blew up the university that they'd use as a base. They knew no one was in it. They'd been in it. They had a fake firefight in there where they're shooting at nobody. They're filming it. They pull out and they just detonate the whole thing. They don't want them to have a university. These homes have already been gutted and looted because they're in there sleeping in their beds and stealing their stuff. And they figure, let's blow up the houses. I guess it's another row where the tanks can now shoot the houses behind that or whatever. The Air Force has already decimated most of the homes. They want to blow up every other house. And this is ethnic cleansing. They do not want them to return. They do not want them to rebuild. And they get off on this. They There's, you know, what's his name? Arnon Soffer. He's a demographer. And he thinks there's too many Palestinians, too many babies. They need a Jewish majority demographic in the area. So they got to murder these people and demolish their homes. So there's nothing to go back to. Why don't you just get over to Egypt? It's combined with not having a house and then a famine that they've induced coming, which is going to slowly murder them and their children. They're going to have to go to Egypt. It's going to get so bad that Egypt's going to have to let them in. That's the plan. Displacement, genocide, and annexation of land. All illegal, doesn't matter because America is going to send them more guns and money. Well, Hamas had a little surprise, bitch. As the demolition team was in the homes. And remember, these are the same people that have murdered whole families by dropping homes on them. We've seen it over and over again. People being pulled out of the rubble, suffocating to death, smushed while they're asleep. Just kapop. Concrete falls. They die in their homes. Because the Israeli Air Force just bombs apartments. Bombs houses. Just carpet bombing towns. Dresden style. So this is poetic justice what happened. They rig up all the explosives and they decide to do a fucking selfie together. Probably for their little TikTok thing because they don't get banned on TikTok or Instagram or Facebook for this shit. They are allowed to openly commit war crimes, put it on social media, advocating, not just advocating, but committing live action genocide. And they don't lose their account. But man, you even report on them doing that and you'll lose your account. As they're doing this, <laughs> Hamas fires two RPG anti-tank missiles. Well, they're not missiles, little rockets, RPGs. Rocket propelled grenades into the housing complex, which sets off the Israeli explosives. Uh-oh, they're still in the home. Bam, collapsed. 21 Israeli terrorists died in a collapsing Palestinian home in Gaza. They got crushed by a house from their own bombs. The very thing they've been doing to Palestinians, they did to themselves. It's their bombs in a Palestinian home. They died exactly the way they've been murdering Palestinians. Poetic justice. And I hope they all didn't just get crushed or burned right away. I hope some of them sat there bleeding out. And so they were conscious and could think, wow, I'm getting ready to die by a collapsed Palestinian house. The karma. I hope some of them burned. I hope they're trapped and squealing and the others couldn't get them out. They're afraid. And you know what happened when they got, when they got, hit and those bombs detonated while they're in there and the homes collapse on top of them was there a rescue squad no they ran away Hannibal doctrine buddy <laughs> like they they are afraid of Hamas because they fired back and so their comrades left them there to die perfect and I would have some video and stuff to show you, but I still don't have a tower. But we have an update there.
They came yesterday while we were out. The one day I leave is when they finally arrive. So they called. It will be between 11 and 2 o'clock today. So somewhere in the next three hours or so, it's going to arrive. And I will be able to edit video. And I'll be able to do inserts and shorts and all the stuff we used to do. Finally. Finally. Even when I did have a tower back in November, it was on its last leg and would die out of the blue and da 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 that's coming. That's that's celebratory right there. 109, 21 terrorists killed all on the same day. Another, they said, oh, there's a report this morning, I have to verify, ended up being 70 of them. 70 died yesterday. 21 in one shot. What happened? They got ambushed in firefights. Now that's up on Telegram if you want to look. You can see that anyway. Pop in a question. Scarecrow, did you find the calendar? P1 Dizzy's on it. There we see. I'm going to post it as well. How do I do this on the laptop? I'm just going to open it in a new window and then cut and paste the URL because that's what I know how to do. <laughs> Here we go. I'm going to put this in the chat. Bam. Boom. It's very bad for Netanyahu right now. Yeah, I wouldn't get too excited about that. It's not like the next guy is going to be any different. It would just be satisfying to see that midget in jail. That would be glorious. Put him in there with some Palestinian prisoners. <laughs> Do shekel chat on Rumble. I don't think you can be on the app. I think you have to be on like rumble.com. That's not my fault. Or a desktop or something. Um, and then you can use the little dollar sign right below the thing. I should have fired up Entropy. We could and can still do that. By the way, Myron and and company, uh, let's see, Entropy Live. I'm going to find it while we're in it. Fresh and Fit. You all know Fresh and Fit. They um, got demonetized again. So first, they were on uh, YouTube. They got demonetized. Then they went to Streamlabs, got demonetized again. I'm not going to say I told you so, but I did tell them so. And so now they are on an entropy. Let's start streaming. Okay. And I'm about to open that also. So we need the... I believe the iframe. Some other news. I'm going to be on a very big uh, YouTube channel soon. Something all of you have seen. Um, and that's all I'll say because I don't want Gabe Hoffman to run around and, and get it canceled. Wow, I think we have some old uh, entropy things. Let's get them though. Legendary Bear. That might be one of Owen Benjamin's crew. By the way, uh, Pearl Davis asked me who's been super canceled uh, and demonetized that they might not know. Because I know she knows Sneeko and the Tates and stuff. Uh, and so I gave him some names. Jeremy McKenzie, Owen Benjamin, Mike Rivero, myself, Nick. Um, who else did I throw in there? Uh, Stefan Molyneux, uh, James Corbett, um, all the, and Red Ice. Hendrick and Lana, um, all been banned, demonetized over nothing and some other names. So I think she's going to be making um, her rounds, interviewing all these people or making a documentary or something. So Legendary Bear says, off topic, but watch the new Mech documentary and covered uh, passing Lee Leon, <laughs> Lee Ron Rubenstein. Yeah. Have you covered in detail previously JFK assassination? If not, will you? Deeply interested in it. I have. Um, Jacob Rubenstein is Jack Ruby. Leon is his first name. Um, that is actually clipped out of a film I made prior called Decades of Deception and War, which is available on ANC Report. It's going to be on Locals soon, too. I, I started a Locals page. Don't know if it's approved yet. We just left it there. It said you're pending. Nah, 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 so we'll wait. And, and I've done interviews with Bill Still, Michael Collins Piper. May he rest in peace. Um, James E. Eugenio, Corey Hughes, and others about JFK. So that's something 
I'm going to put up for Twitter subscribers. I'm just going to make a thread on it because it does. There is no way I can sum up what happened to the Kennedys, and I, I'm not doing it right now. Bestie Grinnell with a 100 says, thank you, Ryan. Keep sharing the truth. Bam. I don't know how old these are. Jingle Bells, Ryan. Dawson Smells. Scott Ritter laid an egg. The Gripper Mobile lost the wheel, and Nick Fuentes does ballet. Hey, I think that was back in Christmas. That was Dope Chick Poster. And then Paul McMinn, love your content. Been doing my own research, and it, it syncs with your info. Thank you. Here's the entropy link. If you're having trouble on Rumble, which happens, you can use this as an alternative. That is entropy. It's where you can do shackle chats. Massive bell attack. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's get that. Let's get this proper. That's the little bell. Here's the original. Here comes the Undertaker. Hey, Rai, any news on Russia now patrolling some... Dividing line near the Golan Heights seems like good news for Syria, but not sure if it goes far enough. Well, they've been, they have an agreement with Turkey to patrol the whole M5 highway, uh, which goes, uh, sort of divides Afrin from the rest of Syria. I have not heard about them patrolling the Golan Heights. That's news to me. I did see that they started their winter offensive yesterday and started rolling back territory in Ukraine. That uh, the Ukraine, that's they're they're genociding themselves by walking into the meat grinder. They had two different chances to accept uh, a ceasefire and didn't take it because Zelensky, Zelensky doesn't care about Ukrainians. Zelensky cares about money for himself, and that's where that money's going to him and his cronies. Him and his cronies. Meanwhile, Ukrainians are sent to the slaughter. That's his meat shield. I have boycott Israel. I don't have the, the end all aid to Israel sweater that I'm usually wearing. One of them, you know, is, is something I can make again. I have the art and everything if that's what you want. Um, so you can do boycott Israel or end all aid to Israel. I will put that in the shop later today once after I get the tower. Uh, that's what we'll do. I'm going over to Entropy and just saying, boom. I have to. I want to support Entropy because they were there before Rumble, before Odyssey, before any of that. There was Entropy. We'll go look at Odyssey now. I'm going to try and get E. Michael Jones on the show. Uh, Odyssey's going to make me log in. Well, I'm not doing that while I'm live. Just use Rumble or Entropy today. The clowns got blown up. Kate Kliegel Myron says, where and how does China fit in to Israel and Zionist plans, if at all? <clears throat> China basically bought Haifa, the northern port in Israel. And China is China is kind of like Trump. They care about money, they care about business. And they've been more affected by the Yemen blockade in the Red Sea on sea trade on the Maritime Silk Road than anything. Although they now have a pass. China and Russia are, if they're using their ships, are allowed to go through. Others are not. Um, they don't really care about Palestine or Israel. Uh, the Chinese just see this as a way of weakening enemies. They do, however, buy a lot of oil from Iran and Saudi Arabia. So they try and keep a balancing act. They do not want anything disrupting uh, like a war in Iran. They don't want that. That would cut oil off to the majority of Asia. So they will be on, on against uh, escalating this war into a greater regional conflict. Um, you can see them Chinese actually sent uh, fighters to help ISIS against the Syrians. So fuck China. 
people always want China to be some savior. China cares about China. They don't care about Palestinians. They don't care about Muslims. They um, they jail the Uyghurs in their own country. Although, yes, you know, <laughs> a lot of that is because of how they behave. They run around and steal things and stuff. It's like, hey, <laughs> this isn't Europe. You're not allowed to just steal stuff. You'll go to jail if you act like that in Asia. No. But they will side. If it comes to Iran, China will put its boot down. Palestine's greatest allies are Hezbollah and Yemen. And indirectly, that means Iran, because they're arming both of them. And, well, obviously the West Bank, too. That's part of Palestine. Any other questions? Well, I'm keeping this short. I thought it was just a nice stream to do about poetic justice today. Oh, this is in the shop as well. Let me show you. <laughs> it's our Octopus 7th. That's in there. And... Earned, so is this. It's ten dollars off. That is the map, most of the map on the front, and the client list on the back. The actual client list, not a lazy copy of the black book or flight logs. Those are actually the perverts that created this thing. Isn't that something? We live in a world where billionaires created a private island headquarters for serial child rapists tied to the Israeli state. It really is the synagogue of Satan. They murder babies. They rape little girls. And it's not like a few bad apples. This is organized by a state and government and a billionaire class of Zionist donors think it's okay to rape the goy. And that's the kind of people we're dealing with. So long live Hamas. Peace. Hey, when we get the tower, we're doing long streams again. My brother's coming on for uh, some Red Cloud and Crazy Horse and Civil War talk. Kit Clarenberg is going to be noon CEE time. It's like 8 or 9 p.m. here, which will be tomorrow morning for you people on the East Coast. Uh, and then we've got a list of guests I'm going to go through. So I look forward to that. We'll see you tomorrow, or we'll see you on Spaces tonight.